In this video, we're going to look at how to get started with Rapid Weaver and Stacks. So we're going to begin by creating a new project. And the first thing that we want to do is add a new page, and we're going to choose the Stacks page. Next, we want to choose a theme. So I'm going to go to the Themes button, select that. And I'm going to filter this. And I'm going to choose Romax Software Themes. And I'm going to choose this Future Theme. And then close that out. At this point, we could preview this, and what we would see is a basic layout with a header, a navigation menu that's begun to form, and then a footer here. The middle is where the content would be located once we begin to add that. Stacks allows us to create a complex layout quite easily, and this is the Stacks library we have here on the left. It should open by default when you add the page, but if it does not, you will find the library button here that will toggle that open and you will find a list of stacks that are built into the Stacks plugin. So let's create a bit of a complex layout to see how this works. I'm going to grab the three columns stack, drag that onto the page. You can see as I hover before I let go of my mouse button that it highlights blue in the drop zone that indicates that it is ready to go. Drop that into place and now we have our new drop zones inside of the three column stack. So I'm going to go about adding an image to the first and I could continue to drag from my library over, but I could also hold down my Option key and drag, and that is going to duplicate that stack. And so it's a faster way of moving about in the edit view as you work in stacks. I'll then take a header, place it immediately underneath the image, and you can see the blue line form, and you can see it just under the image that is in the left column. Now, if I were to move down below this solid line, you would see the blue line form all the way across the full width of the page. That indicates it's outside of the columns. If I want this immediately under the image in the first column, I need to go up inside, and then I can drop it there. So you can see how the nesting of stacks works inside of other stacks to create a more complex layout. Once again, I'm going to grab my header, hold down my Option key, and I'm going to make sure I get the line exactly where I want it before I drop. And I'm going to do the same thing in these columns. And then finally, I'm going to take a text stack, drop it below the headline, and then in the same way, I'm going to hold down the Option key, and I'm going to drag over and duplicate those. So let's take a look at what we have so far. I'm going to preview that, and below the banner area, we have the headline and some text, but we're missing images. We've dropped an image stack in, but we haven't actually added images into those stacks. Let's go back and let's say that I have trouble figuring out what exactly I want to place in those. Rapid Weaver does come with a free library of images under the Resources button and Unsplash. And this is a free library of images that you can choose from if you're having trouble finding them yourself. So I'm going to do a search for the category of technology, and I'm simply going to grab this one here, drag it up into this first image drop zone. And there it goes. I'll take this one for the middle. And then I will take this one here for the third. And so as quickly as that, I've got some good looking images in my layout. And now if we preview that again, we've got a much more visual look for our layout. Now you'll see some minor changes here in the height of these images. And so that is something to take into account. I might want to be a little bit more particular about the images that I use to make sure they're all the same uh, width and height so that they match up more easily. But you get the idea in terms of how quickly and easily we can create a layout such as this. Now let's look at a few more fine tuning items here. I'm gonna create a bit of space between these columns because I feel like they're a bit too close to one another. So I'll go back to edit. I'm gonna select my three columns and the controls for all of these stacks can be found in the stacks inspector. And that is this button here. That's gonna open up our page inspector I'll go to this far right tab, and this is all of the controls specific to the stack that I've selected. So you can see here where it's highlighted in blue, three columns. We see that indicated with the title of the stack here on the right. And if I scroll down, I will find a number of different options that provide me the ability to customize the layout of these three columns. One of those being the gutter width. The gutter is the space in between each column. I'm gonna drag that to the right, and you can see even in edit that, that create space in between each one. So let's go back and preview that again, and now I've got a lot more space available to me in between. So I personally like the way that that layout presents itself in terms of the spacing, 
And so there are some more tweaks that I want to make here to the columns, but all in all, that's looking better. One other item we'll make a change to is the spacing between the headline and the image above it. So I'm going to go back, click on my headline or the header stack, again, go into the inspector. I'm going to add margin above that headline. So I'm going to click on the plus button to give me control over all four sides of this stack. And because I want to separate the top of the stack from the one above it, I'm going to add margin to the top. So let me type in 25, just kind of an arbitrary number there. And we'll take a look and see if that's better. I do like what that looks like. Now I could do the same thing for these two stacks, but instead of that, I'm simply going to delete them. And I'm going to copy this one again with the option key to more quickly apply that styling. And then I would go in and of course customize the text itself by double clicking. And then I would type in the text for the headline. The same goes for the text stack again, double click into that. I can change the text content here. And I do have some other controls available to me. I've got bold, italic, and underline, alignment, some fonts, bulleted lists, colors, and then the ability to set a link. So for example, if I want to link this certain text here, I would highlight it, hit the link button, and then choose either a URL or a page or a resource to point that to. So you will find a number of very useful stacks that are built into the Stacks plugin. Of course, there are hundreds of third-party stacks that can also be purchased and added into the Stacks plugin to give you all kinds of functionality and create a really beautiful website. So that's getting started with Stacks in RapidWeaver. Thank you for watching.